Okay, so welcome back to the fifth edition of Technic Tuesday. I'm joined here by Matt. We're gonna be going through two variations of a bicep curl. Now this is gonna be a good movement, strengthening the biceps as well as forearm and your grip strength when holding that bar. These are the two movements. Okay, so the first movement we're gonna go through is the hammer curl, okay? So for this, you'll need two dumbbells. And from here, Matt's gonna approach dumbbells. He's gonna stand in the middle. He's gonna go through that deadlift position to lift them up safely. Hinge the hip, bend the knees, back straight, driving up. Once he's done, he's gonna set his shoulders back and down, stand with good posture, soft knees, hips back, bracing that core, back straight, eyes facing forwards. From here, we're gonna alternate hands. So he's gonna go for his right hand first, curling it up. As you can see, as he goes through that movement and on the way down, his elbow stays stationary. So as he curls up, his elbow doesn't move. His arm's not moving forwards and backwards. He's not swinging into it. It's a nice controlled rep curling. Elbow stays put, isolating that bicep, gripping nice and strong on those dumbbells. Once he's done, he's gonna go for the negative of that deadlift position to lower them down safely. And that is our hammer curl. Okay, so the second variation of our bicep curl is we're gonna go with the barbell. So again, similar to the hammer curl, we're gonna use that deadlift position to safely pick up the bar. Hinge at the hips, bend at the knees, drive down, lift that barbell up. We're gonna go for an underhand grip, supinated, palms facing to your face. From here, again, Matt's gonna keep his elbows glued to his side. They're not gonna move forwards and back. He's gonna have soft knees, hips back, to so stop him from swinging. From here, he's gonna curl the barbell up to chest as high as he can, squeeze the bicep and then nice and controlled on the way back down. So he's gonna be squeezing it up, breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the effort and that's on the way up. And as you can see, he's not swinging his hips. If you find as you go through that motion and you need to swing your hips to get that barbell up, lower the weight. If you still feel like you're swinging hips a bit more, from there, little tip, you can take a step back into the wall Place your back flat against the wall, just leaning into it, hips back up nice and straight. And then from there, repeat the motion, so curling up. What that's gonna do, it's gonna prevent your body from being able to swing at all, okay? So it's gonna keep it a lot more controlled from there. Again, keeping the elbows tight. Once you're done, you're gonna take a step forward, you're gonna go for the negative of that deadlift, hinge from the hips, bend the knees, lowering that barbell down nice and safely. And that's our barbell bicep curl. Thank you for tuning in for this week's edition of Technique Tuesday. Make sure you like our Facebook, you follow our Instagram for all things epic. And if you've got any questions or want to book in for a free taster, go to our website and all the details will be on there.